evening, I was watching this video on Teal Swan's ex-boyfriend. Now, he had lived with her for two years, and he's telling his story, what went on there. And it's just, uh, yeah, crazy, okay? Um, we'll just put it out there. It's a bit cray-cray. So let me grab some cards and what we're going to do with this is I'm going to do the pendulum with you and, and show you another technique that can be done. So what can you tell me about her Teal Swan's ex-boyfriend? Is what he is saying accurate? Okay, um, is he just spinning stuff? Um, so let's look and see what the cards have to say. What about Teal Swan's ex-boyfriend and all the things he's saying on here, which are just, oh my God. <laughs> so the first card we have out is a holding, holding. He's holding to some things. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put this out here, and we'll see. Okay, yes, he's holding on to some things. Tries not to give it too much energy, but uh, yeah, during some of his interview on this thing, he was crying and all sorts of stuff. Uh, so he's still got a lot of stuff in his past that he's trying to deal with. Okay, so the next card out, the challenge is, you know, bringing forth this information. So let's see, the challenge is bringing forward information. So let's see what we have with this. Yeah, so it is saying, so what we have with it here, this is saying yes, trying to bring forward information, and then what it was also doing, we'll watch it here a minute, and you'll see it's turning in a clockwise position. So yes, he's trying to give the correct information, positive information. Um, so it looks like, uh, yeah, what he's doing, he's doing it honestly. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, um, conscious thoughts are about the time there, the relationship. So we're going to check this again. What about his time there, his relationship? So yes, it's about his time there, his relationship. Now you could tell, again, with the pendulum, um, when you start working with this, if it swings like really crazy, I mean, it's really heavy affirmed. And some of it, you can see the um, energy behind it. Sometimes it'll be kind of, you know, minimal, but sometimes it'll be really crazy, okay? the way he sees himself uh, in pain, 
And you could tell from the things he was saying, absolutely he's in pain, trying to deal with stuff from um, when he was, he was raised a Mormon and he's trying to deal with stuff with that as well. And uh, during some of the interview, he would break down. I mean, just some of the things. So, um, yeah, you'll see this is starting to get swing just much heavier. So yeah, he's, he is in, sees himself in quite a bit of pain. Okay. Okay. Next we have subconscious thoughts about justice. It's the card of justice. So let's look and see what we have here. So yeah, and it's starting to swing clockwise. So yes, he wants to see justice and uh, he's talking about this because he wants to, to tell people what was going on there. We've got the magician. He's hoping that talking will bring justice so people are understanding what's going on there. Yeah, he wants to, yeah. So we have the magician and justice, so he wants to make a radical change for people. Let's see if this is going to. Yeah, it's like he wants to see a radical change, but the feeling, the pendulum kind of starts slowing down. It's like he's not sure if it's going to um, work or not. Okay. So you can get a lot more feeling with the emotion of it with using the pendulum with him. Okay. So underneath of this, okay, energy surrounding it, is uh, coming out with the truth, coming out with a hard truth. It's what it is, Queen of Swords, a hard truth. So is this what it is? Is this about coming out with a hard truth? Now, I can feel the energy of this one. This one is pulling. Yeah, this is wanting to really come out with a hard truth. Wow. So far. Okay, so he's talking about what he's seen, what he's gathered and collected there, what was harvested in his time there. Let's see if that's true. So yeah, it's about the um, harvesting of his experiences there, and it's saying yes. Okay, so positive, it's about his experiences while he was there, and really wanting to be willing to talk about it because he'd like to see uh, a change with people with this, okay. The past, uh, Past is some things about his faith. Now, like I said, 
he was raised a Mormon and he had some difficulties with, um, with the faith. Um, so that can be part of the things that are going on with him. Absolutely. It's like talking about the faith thing, but it's like, yes, but some of that energy has diminished, okay? Because he had such a bad, um, a difficult time um, with Mormonism when he was in it as a child, okay? Hopes and fears, it's about... Uh, you know, the treasure chest of a drama that he's been through. He's got a whole lot of stuff in here that has to do with his faith and um, with all the things that have happened with it. So let's see what we have here. So yeah, it's about his faith and some, feels like some loss of faith uh, through all these things that have happened. But let's see the last couple cards. Oh, this is upside down. I don't do upside down cards, but let's see. So this is about, um, you know, this is about usually going forward looking at your way to unlock it to go forward. But this is upside down. So let's see what, what we have here. Yeah, see, it doesn't have a lot of energy with this. Okay. So as far as his having the keys and things to go forward this is upside down and he just has it's like he's lost he doesn't know where to go next okay as you can see it's just hovering there's no energy there he just is uh it's like he doesn't have a key doesn't have a way forward He's just kind of dead in the water at the moment, okay? So the last heart card we have was, you know, getting away with something. Again, no energy. It's not going anywhere. So it's like it's like him seeing there, you know, he wants the justice wants to think, but he's not sure if it's going to, you know, willing to tell his experiences of what happened. He just doesn't have a way to go forward. Um, and as far as this, he thinks as far as there that getting away with that stuff, that that it's not gonna change. Things are not gonna change. He wants to see things change, but he doesn't have the energy and belief that it's going to, okay? Um, so yeah, I mean, interesting. Now, I can tell you something that happened today. I did have one reading on someone and uh, what it was doing was going, okay, it was going, yes, it was affirmative what it was saying, but then what happened instead of positive, it was to the negative, okay? So when it's spinning counterclockwise, and you're doing a reading and you're getting this counterclockwise, 
if it's clockwise, it's positive energy. If you're reading it and it's saying, yes, this is affirmative, but we've got negative energy, okay? Now, I've only seen this happen very, very seldom, okay? Very, very seldom do I ever see it do counterclockwise energy. Um, so this is, uh, if you're getting counterclockwise energy, then it's somebody that's in a dark mind, dark mindset, okay? So that's the way to use your pendulum um, with your tarot readings, okay? Um, let's pick one card and just see, okay? We're gonna pick, um, let's do Donald. Let's, let's just pick a card for Donald. What can you tell me about the overall energy of 45? What can you tell me about the overall energy of 45? So let's just pick one and just see what we're gonna get with it. It's all about his making money, okay? action about money okay so again for me the female ones or it also could be um information is coming to the courts about money but i think in this case it's about for me uh i use the the um females uh as an action action card the the male is about the thought the internal thing the feminine is shakti okay the motion so what can you tell me is it about him about money is it about him and making money nothing is happening let's try this is it about uh, courts finding out about his money Okay, now this is odd. So what that's telling me, if it's going one way and it's going the other way, then it's a higher power, something to do with a higher power, okay? So the higher power is bringing this to the forefront about the money, the things that are coming forward now. Let's pick another card. Oh, okay. Our laws. The rules, our laws. Okay, what about this with uh, Trump? What about the rules and the laws? Yes. So you can see that it's starting to... Uh, the challenge for him is the rules and the laws, and it's like the higher power karma is kicking in now when it comes to these things turning around, okay? So we should start to see things pretty soon. Conscious thoughts are about the path forward. Let's look and see. So this is giving me a little different reading than what I was looking for, but let's see what it says. Yeah. Let's see what it's gonna do here. So yeah, this is moving in a positive direction, the path forward with this, okay? 
the way he sees himself. Okay. Let's see what we get with this. The way he sees himself that he's kind of out in the cold. This, this you could feel is a heavy one. Okay, now what it's doing now. Okay, so when it goes, we're going like this. He's saying, yes, it's feeling out in the cold, and then it's going at a diagonal. So things are skewed, okay? <laughs> Isn't that just like him? Yes, okay, I'm out in the cold, but it's skewed. Okay, they're lying on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is about, um, this is the subconscious thoughts, thinking about the action, thinking about the action. He's thinking about the action that he can take. And so what we have with this one, it's swinging a little quicker. So his mind is turning on what kind of action can I take, okay? Because a struggle is coming up. So let's see what we have with this. Yep, definitely trying to think what kind of action can I take because this stuff is coming down. The energy surrounding it. Let's see, energy surrounding it. We're getting <laughs> usually he's got women judges and what is it? Skewed. Skewed. His <laughs> skewed. <laughs> okay. When it comes to the women, his idea with it is skewed. Okay? Yeah that it's a tower moment coming. So let's, <laughs> why is that not surprising? Okay. What about the tower moment? When it comes to women, it's a tower moment for him. Up, skewed, everything, you know, when it comes to women and a tower moment, he sees everything is skewed, okay? They're lying on me. They're coming against me. It's not true. <laughs> In the past, oh, he's gotten away with it. Let's see what the energy is on this one. Oh, my goodness. What about the, uh, his idea in the past, he's gotten away with it. He 
Yep. Yep, in the past he's gotten away with it. Oh, hopes and fears. The fear is the investigations, okay? The fear is the investigations. Doesn't, you know, yeah, skewed. Okay, it's going skewed. So again, you know, yeah, the fierce investigation, but he doesn't give it a lot of energy, anything, so he can skew it as usual. He skewed the other things, he's gotten away with it, and so he thinks he can skew it again. I Okay, <laughs> short term, things are being worked on. Things are being worked on. So yeah, we're just getting a uh, working on things. I think he's probably uh, got lawyers that are working on things. Last card, let's see what we get. Okay, the actions that are coming, the actions. And I think this, you know, has to do with the courts, the investigations, all these things that are coming out. All this information that's coming out, okay? Now, um, yeah. Okay. So, um, Okay, so what we had with this one, we had, yes, working on it, but he's uh, about the information, the, the action that's coming out, and then we had it going um, in a negative spin, and then we had it trying to give it no energy, but it was... Uh, his thoughts about it are really negative, really, that, that puts him in a dark mindset, okay? When he's thinking about, he's got his lawyers working on it, but underneath the action that's coming is this information that's coming out. You know, the um, January 6th and all this other stuff information is coming out and when he thinks about that he goes into a dark mindset okay um so yeah i'm surprised we didn't get more of the dark mindsets in that some of them were more of just being consumed with what's going on but in that one i think it's about the january 6th the action is those things are coming out soon and that put him in a negative mindset spin, okay? Dark mindset with that. So there you have it. Um, how to use the pendulum um, with your tarot cards. And it gives more of the energy of it there if it's positive, if it's negative. If uh, yes, this is what it is. If it's saying no, it's not what it is, then that means 
for me, it means that it's a reverse card. You read it in the reverse because I don't pull cards usually in the reverse at all, okay? So the pendulum will tell me this is to the negative of this card, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on pendulum and tarot. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you online.